Welcome to this remote control quick tip. In this quick tip, I want to talk about this stuff here. This is Moo Metal. Now, Moo Metal is something that we've talked about in lots of other videos on the channel, and it is a very special alloy that has a rather unique property in that it actually blocks magnetic fields. And it's typically used around the back of cathode ray tubes and things like that as well, but it's also very, very useful in the hobby. So let's very quickly show you how I've kind of used this stuff in a couple of quads. Here is a CC3D revolution installed in a frame, and hopefully you can pick it up on the camera. But that black thing there, there's the flight controller above it and the power distribution board above. There's actually a piece of moon metal wrapped in insulation tape actually wedged between the two. And that's there to make sure that none of the magnetic interference that's created by all the high currents in the power distribution board make it into the flight controller. Similarly, if we look at another model here where we've been playing with PixHawk, this is actually uh, a Pix racer on top of this thing, uh, and this entire bottom board is the power distribution board. But if you look inside, stuck to the bottom of the top plate, hopefully you can kind of pick it up on camera, is another one of those plates made of Moo Metal and covered in insulation tape and stuck directly below the flight controller. So again, any stray magnetic fields that come from the power distribution board don't make it up into the flight controller itself. Now, why should you be bothered about that? Well, there's one big reason. The magnetometer is used with the GPS for GPS flight modes. If your magnetometer isn't accurately calibrated and isn't pointing to north, then you can get into trouble. And if as you increase the throttle and these larger currents start flying around these big wires in your power distribution board and all that noise gets up into the flight controller, then your GPS flight mode isn't going to work. And the typical thing that you tend to see when you have a problem with a little bit of interference with your magnetometer is the craft, when you put it into GPS hold mode, starts doing this. It's called toilet bowling. And that's typically because what's happening is it's always trying to correct for the fact that it hasn't got a brilliant lock on magnetic north. Now we explain all about how that actually works in this video here, so if you're interested in why you need a magnetometer that's spot on for GPS flight modes, that explains it to you. To actually explain what this stuff is, go and have a look at Wikipedia. I won't put a link in the description. If you just search for Moo Metal, you'll find this page. So what this is, is it's actually a nickel iron alloy with a bit of copper and a bit of chromium or something else in it as well. It's actually quite soft and it's cuttable with these things here. Now these are called tin snips. For those who are non-engineers out there, they're just like a super duper set of scissors and using this stuff you can very easy just cut pieces off the Moo Metal. So it's very very easy to shape into the size that you need. So let's talk a bit about what it actually does for you in those quadcopters that we've just looked at. So here at the bottom we have our power distribution board, lots of very high current, high frequencies running here, there and everywhere as the power from the battery is transferred into the motors via the ESCs. Now with any large current that flows it creates a magnetic field and vice versa, that's how motors and generators work. So a little bit of interference is created that radiates out from that power distribution board in all directions. but. As with all magnetic flux, the farther away you get from the source, the less potent that magnetism is. So how do you get the flight controller out of all that magnetic interference so that you can fly your GPS modes properly? Well, the first way, of course, is to physically shift the flight controller up out of the way. And back when we used to be building great big whacking multi-rotors with lots and lots of space inside, that was absolutely an option. However, these days with the frames that we're using where everything's nice and compact, particularly a 220, 250 class frames and below, we don't really have that option. So how do you protect the board in that event? And that's exactly where Moo Metal comes in. If you put a piece of Moo Metal about the same size as the flight controller, I usually have it fractionally bigger, just kind of four or five millimeters wider than the flight controller underneath just to capture any stray magnetic flux then what it does, it actually absorbs an awful lot of that magnetism internally, so much, much less of it actually makes it through the other side and into the flight controller to cause you a problem. So let me just give a practical demonstration of how this stuff works. 
So here we have a couple of little magnets and we have a couple of little bits of metal that these magnets can pick up. So there we go. they'll pick up those things and hold them without a problem. If, however, I put that magnet on the moon metal, and the moon metal is magnetic, so it does stick to it. If I then put it the, over the top of these two pieces, then actually you'll see there's just enough to pick up the pin, but not enough to pick up the other piece of metal. And again, if I don't have the moon metal in the way, you can see how easily the magnet picks that up. So that is what the moon metal is doing. Now I've tried lots of other things before I got hold of this. I've tried pieces of copper, pieces of steel, pieces of lots of ferrous things. I've also tried doing things like soldering leads on them to connect them to the ground wire. The bottom line is, is nothing in my experience is as good as a little piece of moon metal. The challenge is this stuff is blooming expensive. Now I tend to use reclaimed pieces, as you can see, this was tested by Terry. Uh, this is probably on the back of an oscilloscope, uh, large cathode ray tubes and electronics that generate lots of magnetic interference tended to be enclosed in these kind of things. And there are people out there that are selling the reclaimed pieces that you can use in your quadcopters. In fact, because this piece actually started out an awful lot bigger and we've made loads of pieces. You can see the squares that we keep cutting out to put into flight controllers. Uh, I've actually just bought a piece. So if you're looking to get some, I'd recommend go and have a look on eBay, search for Moo Metal. You don't really want the foil. You want the stuff that's kind of half a millimeter thick or more. And then that way you can very quickly cut yourself a square, pop four holes in it. I tend to wrap it in insulation tape to make sure that it doesn't cause any shorts and then mount it just as we've looked at underneath the flight controller to protect it from all that stray nastiness coming from the power system underneath. So hopefully that helps for all of you that have heard me talked about moo metal and thought I was talking about something to do with cows, cattle. This is the stuff that you're interested in and we're gonna be using more of this in the end of December and January as we start to play with things like iNav on STM32F3 flight controllers to play with the GPS flight modes. If I don't have a little piece of this in there, then there's a very, very good chance with these smaller frames that we're playing with that I'll have a problem with my GPS modes not working because of the interference from the power lines on the craft. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.